Wow, we have some amazing news. Oh, oh we have a terrible oh, Reggie Pizza <laughs> Man! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. is going on everybody how are y'all doing we're back with a fresh gaming news video for you dudes and dude eds but before we get started with the video you already know give it a huge gigantic thumbs up like 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 if you're not subscribed to the channel click subscribe let's get right to the news the first news item is Pretty shocking, pretty big, pretty major for PlayStation Nation. The PlayStation 5 has outsold the Nintendo Switch in the US. This is NPD numbers, which makes it even more um, shocking because the US is the biggest uh, gaming market in the world for the second month in a row. Is the tide starting to turn? in Sony's favor or is it just a sign of an aging Nintendo console and fans need a more powerful handheld but nevertheless the September 2022 NPD numbers are out and the PlayStation 5 has outsold the Nintendo Switch in unit not just in dollar because they beat them in dollar sales too because we know it's a more expensive console but in unit sales meaning the number of units sold the playstation 5 was king in uh, the us and um, xbox came in second in dollar sales third in unit sales but in dollar sales they even outpaced the switch but trad traditionally xbox does pretty good in the us and playstation does as well playstation is dominating in europe nintendo's dominating in japan so um, it's a it's a healthy feels like it's a healthy game market in spite of 2022 being a relatively um, dry gaming year as far as blockbuster releases we had Horizon Forbidden West for me at the beginning of the year and it's been dry since as far as AAA big games I know a lot of dudes like Elden Ring I didn't really I didn't even play Elden Ring so I can't comment on it too much but the PlayStation 5 right now is um, winning in the U.S. two months two months in a row. It's um, um, dethroned the reigning champion, the Nintendo Switch. Dope stuff. All right, this has been a controversy all week long. I haven't talked about it, but let me say my piece and what I think about this whole Gotham Knights capped at 30 frames per second and. When analysis were done on the game, wasn't even 30. It wasn't even a lot 30. It was dipping into the 20s. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X games do not get a pass for 30 frames per second. At this point in the gen, not even at this point, since the beginning of this generation cycle, I give Nintendo a pass because it's a handheld console. It's a handheld um device at the end of the day but if you're touting power teraflops powerful home consoles 30 frames per second is unacceptable when some games are running at 120 frames per second on consoles it's inexcusable to have a game at capped at 30 frames per second i don't care if it's in 4k how great it looks frame rates um are more important to me as a console gamer i know dude like why don't you just get a pc obi one because you ain't gonna have god of war ragnarok at launch on the pc you ain't gonna have zelda tears of the kingdom at launch on the pc come on bro what are we talking about right now um but unacceptable especially when sony's launching games like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, which in my opinion, Miles Morales looks better than Gotham Knights, just my humble opinion. But this game runs 
4K 60 frames per second with a ray tracing mode. Unacceptable, Warner Brothers. Y'all better patch this game, figure out a way to optimize it, and crank up those frame rates. I'm just saying, bro. I you didn't, I didn't spend all this money for next gen consoles. One of the reasons why I like consoles over PC is you get more bang for your buck. For 500 bucks, you get great specs. Whereas if you want to get the latest um, um, graphics card, you're going over a thousand dollars easy for for the top tier graphics card, the latest one that's on the market. So unacceptable. Fix a game, Warner Brothers. I wasn't buying the game anyway, but <laughs> it's just funny. It just confirmed why I didn't want to get the game any anyway. I never been a fan of Batman games. I just never been a fan of Batman. He's not a superhero, bro. He does not have superpowers. His superpower is being rich. All right. Now I have to talk about this. This came out a couple of days ago. The Dual Sense Edge Price. I'm still probably gonna end up getting it. I said I already have five, seven Dual Sense controllers. What am I doing? They're not in front of me. But I have so many Dual Sense controllers. I got the um, Crimson Red, Midnight Black, and I have five white Dual Sense controllers. Dual Sense. The Dual Sense is the best controller of all time, in my opinion. Just once you feel it and experience it, it's like it's just crazy but this dual sense edge the price has been confirmed at two hundred dollars that is a pretty penny that's a lot of money bro i'm looking at my ps5 all digital edition i have a this version ps5 and an all digital my all digital was 400 this one controller is half the price of a dual sense i mean half the price of a ps5 which is crazy bro that's that's a lot of money and most of these features i'm probably not even gonna use i don't be customizing my buttons and all that i'm just getting it just to say that's it i got it bro that's a lot of money and this causes me to think about playstation vr if the dual sense edge is 200 this PSVR 2 is going to be at least $400, bro. <laughs> this is going to be... A, we're looking at a $500 device right now with PlayStation VR 2. If it has the specs, because that um, Horizon VR game looks real good. Like the best looking VR game ever, bro. This, we're looking at $500 for this. That's why they didn't give us the price yet. This is a gamer luxury item. This PlayStation VR 2. I'm just getting y'all ready. What's that dual the what's that dual sense edge price came out? I immediately thought of the VR2. That's gonna be a lot of money, bro. Ain't no way around it. Alright, the next news item, God of War Ragnarok comes out November 9th. Gonna be a day one buy. And um outlets, media outlets have already started previewing the game. Sp uh, specifically, IGN has had five hours they've played the first five hours of the game and it's raving they said that it's an emotional roller coaster just a fantastic game i saw one article where the developer was saying that the playstation 4 did not hold back uh, the playstation 5 version of the game the game looked crazy good um god of war on just on the ps4 and so god of war ragnarok ps5 launches november 9th day one by easy 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 and the last news item for this video is star wars jedi survivor and the latest article coming from push square this is breaking news they've said that the game is still on track for a march 2023 release on the ps5 obi-wan you know i'm a huge star wars fan boy and so day one by i can't wait for knights of the old republic remake just dope 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 so hopefully 2023 will be a better uh, gaming year than 2022 even though i still enjoyed my games i played this year all right dudes those are the news items for this video what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out peace better go this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 
4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Obi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two times. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To <laughs> you, my boy. Let's go, man. Fuck. Twenty-five. 26, 27, 28! <laughs> he said hitting on the end! <laughs>